Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at the Pro Aim Victor Cart, uh, a collapsible camera cart that uh, packs a lot of punch for not very much money. So if you saw my early review of the Pro Aim Bawano cart, uh, it was very solidly made, um, very functional, but it wasn't a quick collapse, meaning there were 50 or 60 odd screws you had to put in and take out if you wanted to transport this thing to set in your car and then build it and then use it on set and then take it away again. Um, the Victor is their newer cart, which is a collapsible um, just with a couple of uh, hand tightened uh, sort of ratchets on the side. Uh, it comes apart, you can put it into uh, a car and take it out in a couple, just a couple of minutes. So it's much more um, in line with uh, what people think of as the innovative carts or some other camera carts on the market. The difference being that the fully featured one, the 36 inch that I got was only $1,600 and has a ton of accessories that you're able to build out um, to basically you know, have the camera cart as your central shooting platform when you're on set. Camera carts are, you know, have quickly become an absolutely essential element on set. Not only do they store things, um, you know, like, like the camera, like the lenses, uh, like your monitor uh, and your tripod, but they also help get that from your truck or your car to set and back again. So typically you would, you know, unload your car and do like five or six different runs from the car to the location and then reverse it, you know, break everything out, build it somewhere, put everything back. Um, whereas with the camera cart, you take it out for, you take the cart out first, you build the cart, you load everything onto the cart, um, and then you wheel the cart to set with everything on it. Then you take out your camera, build your camera if you need to. You take out your lenses and have them right there. You store everything underneath, which also acts as ballast for the cart so that um, if someone nudges it, it won't tip over. And the camera cart really just serves as a hub for the camera department or for the director DP when they're on set so that everything that they need is at a central location. Very often you can, and there's an accessory that I got with this that you can mount your monitor on the cart. Um, so you're running cables from your camera or using your wireless system to your cart. Your cart is a place that you have central power, whether or not that's where your battery charger is or whether that's your um, power boards are. You're running power to the cart and then running power out of the cart. Um, it just really helps to have everything where you need it rather than everywhere else. And when you're staging on a cart, um, it means that if the camera, if you want to make a shot where that stuff's in the background, rather than sweeping in and having to get all of that stuff out of shot, you just roll the camera cart a few feet left or right and you should be safe. Unless you've used it on set, it's impossible to say how helpful something like this is, um, especially something that's easily transportable, high capacity and really well made as this one is. So I've been using the cart for something a little bit different. Um, I'm basically using it as a mobile shooting platform. Here in the studio, I have a couple different angles that I like to shoot. I shoot back towards my computer desk when I'm doing this YouTube videos, but then I shoot towards the windows when I'm doing um, some of my courses, especially one that I'm getting ready to announce in the next few months, so that I uh, have different backgrounds for different applications. What I've done is mount my camera, my monitor, and my light on the camera cart so that all of those things stay constant and I'm not moving around a tripod, a monitor stand, and a light stand so that I just roll this thing to different positions which I've marked on the floor and I should have the same lighting that I'm happy with, the same angle, the same lens, um, the same framing. Um, and it basically is a really great way for me anyway uh, to achieve a consistency uh, when shooting in a studio because during COVID, I'm not doing that much moving around. I'm not doing, going on set as often as I normally would. Um, so I've turned my camera card into a mobile shooting platform and it's worked out really great. I basically have the C200 on there with uh, a mini tripod. Then on the optional um, light bracket, uh, I have the Hudson Spider Mozzie. And then on the monitor bracket, I have the uh, TV Logic LVM171. Um, that's they're all powered from a uh, power board that I'm running uh, AC to in the bottom of the cart, and I have some other stuff down there, a couple of sandbags for ballast because everything's sort of on this side of the cart. And I don't want it to zip over. 
I would say that the, the big advantage of the Victor card is how versatile it is. Uh, you can move the top shelf up and down very easily with just four um, hand releasable screws. The wheels don't have that really obnoxious uh, rubber smell that you get on cheaper cards where they, they kind of like make the whole room smell like plastic for, for months and months and months. Uh, the big advantage of this cart system is that there are you know, a dozen accessories uh, from monitor holders to tripod holders to uh, different trays and things that you can get. Um, and it all fits together really nicely and you can customize it for how you wanna use the cart. It is a great piece of equipment that I didn't think that I needed, but once I got it, uh, it came in really, really handy. I found a ton of uses for it. Thank you very much for watching. Check the description for the links and I will see you next time.